and court records, he threatened three black children with shouts of racial slurs. Two years later, Marky Mark spent time in jail for beating a Vietnamese man with a stick. A few weeks ago, Marky Mark publicly apologized for his behavior, stating, I used racist language and people were seriously hurt by what I did. I am truly sorry. While most of his fans are applauding Marky Mark for his public apology, my guests today say he should have never apologized for his action because they're very proud to be members of hate groups, and what they say may shock you. Please welcome Bill. He has ties to the Ku Klux Klan and is a member of the National Socialist American Workers Movement. Bill, what does your organization stand for? We stand for white rights, and I have a message for you. I come not to send peace on earth, but a sword. Jew dwarfs, there's an oven in your future. Get out while you can. I should also add right now that we have an audience filled of nothing but teenagers, and I shouldn't say nothing but, but filled with teenagers who are here to discuss this, but we also have another guest joining us today, is Shayala and Awara, who are members of the Hebrew Israelites. Shayala, why don't you tell us what you stand for? Basically, we represent the Most High God and Christ, which are black revolutionary racists. According to the Bible, all white people are devils, and we hate you, and you're going in slavery, and you got to pay for your crimes, cracker. All right. <laughs> and also, we have another teenager, Aurora. What do you think? What does your organization stand for for you? Well, I say the white man is the devil, okay? He brought us here in slavery, and he's going to pay for what he did to our people. He's a wicked, lying wretch, and he deserves death. Death. Okay. Also joining us is another teenage hater. His name is Mr. Curtis Wolf. He's a member of the Church of the Avenger and a leader of the White Berets. What does your organization stand for? Anti-Jew and anti-pervert. And what and what and what does what does that mean when you say anti pervert? Well, first of all, a pervert is not born into this world. He or she chooses to remain that way or to become that way. Well, what is this he and she that you're talking about? Who are you talking about? A pervert. About? A homosexual. I don't find anything gay about them at all. So you hate all Jews and all homosexuals. You got it. So that's what we're trying to talk about today. But we're trying to talk about it with an audience filled with teenagers from across the country who want to respond to these comments, but also want to wake you up out there at home, want to wake parents up, want to wake other kids up, because these kids are go to school near you, may go to school in the same neighborhood that you go to, and your kids and you may be affected by this. Don't go away. We'll be back right after this. to believe and hard to imagine but there are 1993 in 1993 there are young people out here who still believe in things like burning crosses on front people on the pit front of people's lawns and on just hating people I can't understand it but that's what's going on and I don't know where it's coming from and where you're learning it from but let's let's just start with Shyala how long have you felt the way that you feel I felt the way that I've felt since I was born, okay, because of what you devils did to our forefathers and what you're doing to our people today. And I'd like to bring this out. God hates all white people. That's in Romans 9, 13. <laughs> Jesus Christ called a white woman a dog in the Bible. All of you are brainwashed in here. All of you have the mark of the beast, okay? What but we're teaching is the truth. What verse? Romans 9, verse 13 states that God hates Esau and your father is Esau. And you're not white, you're red, okay? Your blood shows forth through your skin. All right. Okay. All right. Well, that gives you a chance. Now, Bill, what do you, how long have you felt the way you feel about Jews and blacks and everybody else? Since the uh, great word of Adolf Hitler came into my life in about the fourth grade. Uh, since, the, since the who? Since the who? The great who? Great word of Adolf Hitler, the Fuhrer. Okay. And he came into your life in the fourth grade? That's right. It, okay. Uh, how, what did, he, did he, like, pop out of the mirror at you? I mean, how did he come into your life? God gave me his word at a younger age, and he turned on Adolf Hitler to me. The Lord Jesus Christ refers to Negro as Chaya in the Bible. That's a lie, okay? You don't know nothing Straight about a Bible. You're a beast you don't know field, nothing about man. Christ. That's what, that's you know, right you're the, the damn devil that the Bible speaks about. You got your damn nerve talking about God. God is black. That's right. in Daniel 7, verse 9. Christ is black. That's in Revelation 1, verse 14. The Jews are black. That's in Jeremiah 14, too. You call yourself red-blooded Americans. We call you redneck crackers. And the Bible says the devil is red. Jews are the synagogue of Satan. The so-called white Jews are the synagogue the of Satan. The real Jews are the blacks that was brought to America on slave ships. Get your history straight. 
Uh, well, I don't know about history, but I'm just trying to figure out, we're going to talk about what happened about 300 years ago. Let's talk about what's happening in 1993 and why teenagers, people of your age, hate so much right now. First of all, hate is reality, okay? You're teaching about love. Don't you know God hates? It's, scripture says in Ecclesiastes 3, there's a time and purpose for everything under the sun. A time to love, a time to hate, a time to kill, a time to be born, a time for peace, and a time for war. You got your damn nerve asking me why I hate the damn devil. You but can't you know what? rape my, four, my mother, I, wait, I, wait, 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 my wait, forefathers. Wait, wait, but I, I may have that, but like you just said, if there's a time for everything, all you espouse is hate. So now why don't you take the time to love? We love the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, Panamanians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Mexican and North American Indians. We love our people and we hate our enemies. And you ain't no damn Jew. Ata lo Yehudi. Ata lo Jacob. Ata Shatan. Yorash Kalev. Idomi Kalev. Shatan Kalev. You ain't no Jew. Okay. The devil at the Bible speaks up. Um, you know what? God, I, I you just you you gonna ask okay. anyone? Anyway, God. All right. You said before that God is black. Yeah, that's in Daniel you know seven that? verse nine. It says that God's hair was woolly, and black people got woolly hair. In Revelations, the first chapter, the 14th verse, it says Christ, his hair was white like wool. Blacks got woolly. Then it says Christ looked so dark, he looked like brass, which is a derivative of brown, as if he burnt in a furnace. And if you burn anything in a furnace, it gets dark. Ezekiel 1 verse 7 states the angels are black. Jeremiah 14 2 states okay, wait, the angels are black. Wait, 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 wait. Shala, we're not going to have a Bible lesson right this minute, but you, you got that. But what, what is your point, sir? The point is that everything he's saying isn't true. It, uh, it may say, like, dark, but that doesn't mean a thing. That's a damn lie. All right. What does it say? Okay, all right, all right. I'm not going to go back to verse and verse, but Curtis, you've heard this. Now, your, your organization hates as much as Shiala's does. Why? <clears throat> I'm trying to get to the bottom line of why. This is why? 1993. Why? Why? First of all, in the Carnegie Institute in Philadelphia, New York, sir, you will find that the Jews are the ones that brought your people over. That's a damn That's lie. And they have been working us against yeah. each other. First we of are all, neighbors. The white man is not a Jew, okay? He's the synagogue. No, of we are not. That's Revelations That's 2, right. verse 9 and 3, 9, okay? Second of all, all you white people are the same. Whether you saw, call yourself German Caucasian, Jewish Caucasian, British Caucasian, Swedish Caucasian, you're all Caucasians from the Caucasus Mouse because you're all cave dwellers. You're the Antichrist, the 666, the beast, and the dragon and the devil, okay? You can't pull no witchcraft or trick me because I know who you are. You are of your father, the devil. Okay, well, you know, all right, Shiloh, and I'm getting, you, you, you had your opportunity, but Curtis, I'm going to come back to you again. I'm still trying to get the answer to the question of hate, and all the verses that you've just espoused, Shiloh, does not tell me why you hate. Hold on a second, Curtis, why do you hate? First of all, to be a warrior, you must hate your enemy to the death. If not, they will destroy you. Flat and simple. So you're very, a warrior. Pardon me? You are a warrior. That's right. Okay, all right. To the yes, death. All right, yes, sir. You're over there saying that um, you hate all white people, right? Well, God um, hates all I white might, people. Well, God, okay? All right. You're wrong because God loves everybody. That's a damn no matter lie. what the color is. That's a damn lie. You can't prove what you're saying. You can't prove what you're saying. You're like Christianity, slave master, Christianity, garbage, man. That's a damn a lie. A war. You can't. A war. If I, a war, if I you want to make comment. You wouldn't be able to prove that God loves everybody. That's a damn lie. Prove it. Substantiate what you're saying with explicit facts. You don't know what you're talking about. You've been brainwashed by that slave master, Christianity. Okay. All right, just one minute. Yes, ma'am. How can you say you know all white people? You don't know me. How, all how you, you white people are the can devil. Say, all can I say you. something? You ain't got a damn thing to say. So you know, all we have to do is look at the track record of the white man. History proves that he brutalized us, he raped us, and he murdered us, okay? And for that, he's going in slavery, and he's going to be, he's, we're going to end up killing him, okay? He's going in slavery and death to the white man. And, you and you, yeah. death to you, okay? Look at you. What are you? When I look at these people, I don't see a man. I see a woman, who okay? Is, who is They're the homosexuals, okay? Who they were brought the here. To play the, the wicked, and that's what they are, the wicked, okay? Who and is track what? record, history taught me that, okay? And I don't need a M, uh, master's from Cambridge University to see what he did to my people, okay? He came okay, to but now let me, all right, let me stop you right there, because you're, you're right. You, who history, is the weakest let me, race? Hold on a second. You are, the weakest okay? race. You are, Bell, okay? Bell, Bell, you are. Hold it. Bell, Bell, hold on a second. I, hold I it. Scream okay? over you don't even understand. Wait, 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 wait. Who is the weakest race? Here's the true question. Let's... The true question is, you hate so much. History proved this to you. That's right. In your life, how many times have you been raped? 
No, I know. In your time, how many times have you been beaten? First of Listen, all, I'm asking a question. Let me many ask times. my question. Listen, okay. Okay. Let me ask my question. I yes, cannot sweep under the rug what these demons did to my poor parents, okay? You might be able to, but I'm not. I'm so not going to sweep this so under what, the rug. So if you don't sweep it under the rug, what is it that you want to okay. do? Okay, death, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, okay? Pay back. That's Slavery. the way it's going okay. to be. These white people, whether they got reap what they Whether sold. you believe that or okay. not, that's what's going to happen to your people. Okay. And we all going to live to see the day when this happens, okay? That's when right. the Most High come and choose a chosen people, which is a nation of Israel. Black right. men, get ready for war. Stop That's right, right there. Now, you, you feel the same way over here. You feel like the race wars are going to come, and it's going to be your people that win this war and take everybody else out. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you first shot at it. I'm not taking any shot at anybody. No, first I'm just shot. asking you the question of, right. is that what's going to happen? That's the doctrine that you have in, in your organization that eventually we have to come to war. Is that correct? I will give you first shot war at bringing... War is coming, okay? So the Wait, black war, people better prepare I'm trying to get an answer. Again, yeah. from you, is that what your organization is about? You want to bring this to the point that the fruition of all this is war. No, yes or we're, no? No, we're uncovering the Jew. Okay, so what does Jew. that mean? Number one. They brought the slaves over here. They own the banks. They own the Hollywood, the multimedia. All right. Everything. They so control everything. So what do you everything. want to do to them? Get Burn. them out of the country. Can, Get them out of the country. Everything okay. will be natural after that. All right, stop. Bill, now what do you want to do? I think all the Jews need to be shipped back where they belong. But then... Well, the, where's that? See, they've never had a homeland. That's right. Mouth they've never, never had ever. a homeland. The caucus is... But I'm going to say... Let me, let me say something about the Palestinians. You know, we support PLO in Minneapolis. Because the PLO is fighting Look, the Palestine. the war is between That's the right. black man and Semitic. the white right. man, okay? Like That's Semitic the war. People. Later for the Palestinians, the war is between the black and the white. Nobody else matters. Not the Chinese, not the Indians from the East Indians. Nobody else matters except the black man and the white man. And that's where the war is coming, okay? So black man, just get up and fight. Fight for your nation, okay? I admire a man who would stand up for his nation and his people and what the Creator say. Not what we've been taught in this Wait, Awara, society. Awara, Awara, hold okay? on a minute. Hold on a second. Awara, how old are you? Okay, I'm 19 years old. 19 years old. And in, in your... In your 19 years, I, I'm really, I am just trying my best to try to figure out, and none of you have still, I've asked this question over and over again, and none of you have answered it. You are, are rote memory espousers of things that you have learned. Memory. I am memory. asking you one You could say that's memory Wait, to no, you, but Laura, it's very life see, to me, as okay? Soon as, as soon as I start asking you a question, you start espousing those, those rote memory things. Because you're not making any sense. The sense that I'm making is, you haven't made sense yet. Okay. I've asked you three you're times. This is the answer right here. I've asked you. This is the answer right here. Stop for a second. Okay. No, why are you speaking to her? Is she a puppet? Let her talk for I'm herself. Be quiet. You, okay. I'm saying let her speak for herself. Don't put your hand in her back. Now, I'm asking you one question. The basic question was the one that I started with. And I said, why do you hate? Don't give me a, a, a dictatorial, why it. do you hate? That's I hate the question. white man, okay? Why do you hate? Because of what he did to my four parents, okay? You could forget about that, okay? Who said I forgot I'm about anything? I'm not going to forget about that, okay? I have to come and revenge my four parents for what these demons did to my four parents, okay? Okay, good. That was an answer. Why do you hate? I hate white people exactly for what she said, okay? And it's okay. in our spirit. We were created to be enemies. When you read about Cain is the white man and we're Abel, Esau's a so-called <laughs> white man and we're Jacob. We're enemies, okay? okay. That's, that's what the answer I was looking for. We're Why enemies. do you hate? Hey, why I do you want, hate? I want to answer the question. You know, they keep saying the same thing over and over and over. The point is, if they were smart, they'd say, let's work together, let's we divide this. Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. Let me finish. I mean, that, you guys interrupt every damn sentence I say. Because everything you, you say know? is damned. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Finish your point. If they worked with us, we they were Louis, if you were Louis Farrakhan's people, you'd be working with us that's to right. separate the we nation. No that's right. There you go. Okay. Okay. Dr. 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 Farrakhan. Okay. Let's right. do it. We're not no Uncle Tom. And Louis Farrakhan? No wait, Louis okay. Farrakhan we're is an Uncle Tom? Philosophies. We're dealing with the most no, high, with the most high in the Bible. Wait, wait, you okay. were saying that Louis Farrakhan we're is not Uncle Tom? Deal, we're not dealing with Farrakhan. We're the Hebrew Israelites, the real Jews that the Bible speaks He's an Uncle Tom? That's not what we're dealing with. He's an Uncle Tom. Okay. All right, tell you, we're going to take a break. And I want to get back to this. He just did. She just did. She said he's not what we're saying, okay? I asked you. You said you're not dealing with any well, other we're times. trying to tell you we're dealing with the most high in Christ and the orders that he has in the Bible. That's okay. what we're dealing with. Anything gotcha. else we're not dealing with. And we'll figure out what everybody else thinks about what they're dealing with as soon as we come back. We'll be back right after this.
the teenage hate mongers, people who believe that hatred should be alive and well in America. And what do you think? So what's going to happen when you get rid of all the white people and you get rid of all the black people? Who's going to be left? First of all, all, all the black people are not going to be rid of, okay? The reason the blacks are in these conditions is because they broke the laws of the Most High. So the Most High raised up the so-called white man to punish us. Now, we're raising up and the white man's coming down. We're going to rule the world in righteousness. I agree with you on that point. You know what? We didn't do our job. You know why? No, we you did do traitors. your job. You deserve As you people Academy have your own war. traitors. Yeah, we do have traitors. That's and right. I'd like to say this. The traitors of our people, they're going to die. All the Uncle Toms, the religious, we ain't no negotiating, ain't no compromising, ain't no singing, ain't no marching, ain't no dancing, ain't no burning candles, ain't no damn voting. You ain't going to get a damn thing from voting. Our people have been voting since we got in this country. Look at you. Seth Hawkins, Michael Stewart, Michael Griffith, Rodney King, Hosea Garcia. The white man has been killing the black man, killing the Puerto Rican, killing the Indians, and he's got to pay for this crime. This is reality. Y'all could deal with fantasy, but we're dealing with reality. How old are you, Shiloh? I'm 19. 19, too. Okay, great. Yes, yes, sir. For a 19-year-old, you really sound intelligent. I have another thing to say. According to the Jewish Bible, the black man was created from a, a biblical character. I don't know which one that is. Adam was off black. The, off the top of my head. And it's like the ugly ducking, duckling story, but all I can say to you is that you're quacking a lot. How long, ye simple yes, ones, will you love simplicity? How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? You can make jokes, okay? You can jump around. You could drop dead, okay? But the Most High's program is going to flow whether you believe it or not, accept it or not, or like it or not. These are historical okay. documented uh, facts. All right, Charlie. Yes, yes, ma'am. And this is addressed to the Nazi guy. Um, right. If you're so proud of what you stand for, why are you wearing a hat and sunglasses and hiding yourself? I don't understand. That's you, Bill. What do you think? Why are you wearing a hat and sunglasses? I know this is part of the, the Aryan look, though, right? This is what you, you do, right? Well, if I came here and showed my face, then I'd lose my job because the government, the Jewish occupational government, discriminates against white people. And I want to ask the Jews in your audience today, how come they can steal the land from the Palestinian people and they think that's okay? Okay, First well, all, we, the land they might worry the about that. Wait, Shiloh, they it might worry about us. that if they were over there. We're talking about here in America. And right here in America, I'm still trying to figure out, I got through Shiloh and Awara, I want to get to you, and I know you didn't answer the question about why you hate so much, but eventually you will. But let me get this question first. Yes, sir. You know, I came here today thinking of, like, a perfect question to ask, something that would relate to everything. What's but the question? After hearing me, all of you talk, I've concluded one thing. That's four simple words. Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. And well, you're ignorant. You're brainwashed. You got the mark of the beast. Okay? I'm quoting ignorance, sir. Excuse you're me? You're quoting a book that, for all we know, you claim it's fact, but it's not necessarily fact. Yes, it is facts. I can prove it in the Bible right you now. Can you want me to prove all these words? No, I don't need you to prove anything. I don't, we don't need to have a dissertation in the facts. It, you're scared of the it's facts. It's not being scared, scared of facts, facts but I don't want to have a... Books. We're not doing a whole show okay. on you quoting the Bible because it, it goes back to what I said earlier. It's like right now, I hear out of you... I, I wish... I wish... I wish I could run a tape right now of one of my old, old hate monger shows, because I will tell you right now, it looks like somebody's got a hand in your back, a hand in our wars back, high, a hand in your back. No, 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 no. It's somebody else who taught okay, you what nah, to say, you because all I hear Montel. over and over okay, again, if I'm brainwashed, see, I can speak without quoting things. I, I can, can speak, speak without dissertation. <laughs> Give me one reason why I should love the white man. I didn't say, Give wait, me one no, 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 this is not man. a discussion about loving anybody. What are you And I'm not trying about? to do, I'm just saying to you, I can speak and make my point without so quoting. I, but you don't well, put the book the down and start now, doing I'm that. I'm never going to put this book down. Well, this book then, was written by black men. Gotcha, okay. okay. Fine, by fine. Black fine. Well, you being such That's real. That's our history. All right, well then, great. It's your history. Why you got this book in your court? Wait, wait a second. Why don't you tell the damn devil to put it down? And y'all are going to live to see the day when this thing comes And everybody's going to have to respect the Bible. We're all going to live Okay, but my point is, what I said point? is, and you said make my point, my point is, you have, in like eight minutes, given me 74 quotes, and I'm saying to you, take those quotes and put them into your words. Okay, Montel. Without quoting something, she's doing it. You've been doing a very good job Let at it. Let me tell you this, You have this, been okay? one quote after another. Give me something. Racism is alive today, okay? Look what happened to Rodney King. When that incident happened, okay, and, and the white people were scared because they thought there was going to be a revolution for the, uh, the black people was going to revolt against them and, and did and uh, take out what happened to Rodney King on them. They were scared, and that was exciting because fin I said, finally, okay, the black man is going to stand up and fight and revenge his brothers and his four parents. But no, they sweep it under the rug like they do everything.
anything else. Okay. okay it's time for them to wake up and fight. Okay, yes, you realize okay, that 98% of the law and judicial system is Jew, and the facts are there. Right That's now. That's all right now. and right our now. laws, okay? That's right. The who, white man don't have anything unless... Okay, let, me, so, let me explain to you who's push, pushing all this. The Illuminati, okay? There you go. Now listen, we're talking. Listen now, okay? Because I'll deal with you. Because you seem like history. you got a little intelligence. Just a little. Okay, now, the Illuminati 1500 white men, which controls the world's wealth above the president, above the CIA, and above the FBI. That's okay, true. they no know way. everything what we're saying is the truth. Okay, but what they push on the media, on the TVs, on the radios is to brainwash our people. They teach our people lies, like Christopher Columbus <laughs> discovered America when there was black Indians living here first. There okay, were that's a lie. Teaching that Christ is white, that's a lie. Okay, okay. you people's pushing this lie. All right, now stop that. Right, Let are. me get this point, women. Yes, ma'am. Um, I have two questions. Right. One, I can understand, you know, you having hatred and everything because, I mean, they've just about taken everything. They brought us over here on the boat. Right, they made sister. us work. Mm -hmm. they, they even taken over rap music. You right. know, they taking over just over about everything. Can I ask you that? But what I'm trying, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say right. is, you know, y'all have to, this is not the way. I mean, we, you know, we have What's to work. What's the way? What's I don't, the way? I'm not saying that there Peace? is a particular, I'm just Love? saying you can't, Joy? you can't work this way by Singing? killing everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's alternative. You can't work this way. Okay, Martin Wait, Luther King up there, tried that. Yes, okay, we tried. Look what happened to Martin Luther King. He wanted peace and he got a bullet in his head, okay? You black people's gonna have to face stuff. This country was built on racism, it's going down on racism. This country was built on bloodshed, it's going down on bloodshed. You uh, gotta pay for your crimes and you're gonna pay double. You gotta reap what you sow, man. Okay, let's stop there. Yes, ma'am. All right, I got something to say to Bill die. over here. How, don't you dare ever take the Palestinians as an excuse to hate Jewish people, all right? Thing, that yeah. is no, that is no excuse, all right? You hate everybody, you're supposed to be a Nazi, you like Aryans, don't use Palestinians as an excuse for your hatred. My okay. heart. Ah! Let, me, let me answer that. Yes, go ahead, answer My that. My heart aches for the Palestinian people because they have been oppressed by the Jews just as the white people have. That's a really I, you know, asinine I, I'm, thing I'm to looking say. For, you know, see, I can buy all this. I can buy all this, but I can't. I'm just having a hard time getting to this. When you're telling me that, that everybody's abused you and you're 18 years old and 19 years old, you're 19 years old, you're 19 years old, I don't know how old you are because you said they don't have Hell, birth records. Don't you don't know either. Don't so know. we'll find out when we come back. But I just don't understand why, and I think maybe you have a hard time understanding, why do kids hate so much in a time when this country's trying to do something? We'll be back right after this. Teenagers who say they hate. And I've gotta, I gotta ask a couple questions here real quick, and this is just for Bill and Curtis. You know, I've had Arians on this show before, and, and I will tell you, and a matter of fact, we did a show with, uh, you know, Metzger, and, and his father wrote me this long, nasty letter and said, you know, the fact that, that I thought we got over and we thought we did a good show because, you know, I felt like I embarrassed these guys. And his comment was because the, the Arians that were on the show would not challenge and wouldn't say anything about black people. And it looks like right now, two guys who, just because the two of them are sitting on the same stage, you're changing your whole song and dance. Now you only hate Jews and, and homosexuals, but if we were in a different forum and they were not here, you would be sitting there talking about how much you hate black people. Now, are they making you back down and getting you a little scared? No, that's, uh, that's not true because... Okay. <laughs> What's that? You see, we see eye to eye with the Nation of Islam. And the main people that have caused everyone the problem is the Jews. First, if the blacks could be separate and the whites could be separate, that's right. and the Orientals could be separate, that's right. we have no problems. Racial with survival. Race that's the key. Mix right. according to the Bible. So segregation is the way. Okay. That's right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, you and the red and black. That's right. right. Shia. And Shia and the Just lady sitting question. next to you. Mm -hmm. You saying that the um, black people have been, you know, going, our forefathers have gone through all this and that. And well. I mean, we've gotten some rights and everything. We've been able to vote. Can't? Nah. Why can't you? Where are you I get mean, from voting. Okay, everybody can, that they um, got. You can elect somebody to represent listen, you. Listen. If you don't use that right to vote, then you're not listen, gonna have anybody listen, to though. represent everybody, you. Everybody, hold it, hold it, listen, listen, hold it, hold it, hold it. Everybody, everybody that they got set up Go in ahead. office are Uncle Tom's and puppets being pulled on the strings. Okay, these David Dinkins, Jesse Jackson, Clarence Thomas, Uncle. All of these people, I still got drugs in my neighborhood. My people still poor, still living in the ghetto, still living in the slums. These are black people that are put up, the white man put them up to pacify. See, you got a black mayor. See, you got a black police commissioner. But we could see through that because a white man is giving these black people in office orders. All right, yes, ma'am. Okay, you quote from the Bible and you say, all right, fine, whether it is a black or a white God, 
God says to forgive and forget. Don't you think forgive it's time forget to forget about the past and think about nah. what's happening now? Nah. Okay. Listen, listen, well, listen good. Okay. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't know your past, you don't know your future. Okay. And what you talking about? Forget. We still catching hell every day. Okay. And the Most High is not gonna forget. You Uncle Tom's, you could forget, but the real black man is not gonna forget. There's a different stock, a different breed of young black man rising up, and we don't give a damn, and we are gonna fight our enemies by the power of the Most High. All right. There's, yes. something, there's something else we haven't brought up, and that's people that are race traitors, whites and blacks that mix the races. Race traitors. They should be hung up by ropes. That's right. Okay. The most high right. is against jungle feet. Stop for a second. Yes, sir. Let me say this. When you check out and you read in the Bible, God is a racist, and there's nothing that y'all could do or say can prevent this, man. That's why blacks and white can't get together in this society, because from the beginning, it was racism, man. And God is a racist, and it's going to be continuously racism in this society. Black Things is not going to get better. Blacks right. and whites have never got together. Blacks and whites are never going to get together, okay? Yes, ma'am. What do you think? They were saying before that um, they killed and raped yours. What about the six million Jews that died? First of all, they died. They died. They were raped. Right what here. happened to them? Right here. Right here. You want the answer? You're not the only one. Okay. You want the right, answer? There are you want the answer? Others. You want the answer right here? The real yes, Holocaust yeah. is the blacks me, that were right brought to America Let me on slave ships. That's the true Holocaust. What about the black people that died? Here's the lie. It's been exposed. Okay, hold on. Now, go ahead, Curtis. What is this? It's been exposed. Hold on. Now you're gonna learn something. Oh, what is this? What is this that you're holding up? This is spotlight. From Auschwitz, spotlight, Poland, yeah. uh, the camp. Peeper exposed the whole thing. What hey, did Jude, David what Cole exposed at the Holocaust. There never was any gas chambers in the ovens. <laughs> Nothing. There it is, right there. What? 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 You know, wait a minute, but, but Curtis, know, hold on. Wait, I'll get to this okay. point for a second. I gotta get to this point now. You know. It's easy for you at whatever age you are, since you don't know your age, to say now because someone has put their hand in your back and told you that a Holocaust never happened. No, no, I no. had two people on this show who I reunited and they both bear the scars of living in a, in a period good. of camp. Well, and so those people also been, were burnt good. and they had family members who died in the Holocaust. So uh -huh. how can you say that this never happened? How First can you of all, say that? these are experts that went over. And well, you know what? I don't know who well, these experts well, are. Well, well right. let me give you a chance to answer. Number one, their own people in Haifa and Tel Aviv say that this never happened. All right, well, hold on a second. Yes, ma'am. Okay, to you who say um, that people who mix have problems, you know, I have a black father and a white mother, and I'm happy being mixed. And I have Jewish friends, and I have black Can friends, I and I have white friends. And if that makes Can you I upset, good. Listen, listen. Let me say this. 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 First of all... Hold on a second. First of all... Go ahead. First of all, you got to listen and let me get my point. There's no such thing yeah. as mixed, okay? You are what your forefathers are. Your forefather carries this, this, this seed, which is the sperm. Wherever he plants it, that's what he is. If you plant an apple seed, you get an apple tree. If a black man sleeps with a white...